Hello everyone, I am D-Mind, the mind of one and all, and welcome back to another episode of The Detail. Right, so in the last episode, well... Well, a lot of things happened last episode. We caught, uh, we caught a child molester, and then... Oh, and then there was a... We fought with him, ouch. And now we're in the crime scene with a dead body. Also, I just learned that holding out will show you all the things you could press. Which is... Would have been nice earlier. Yep, and oh, there's condom over there. All right, but let's look at the cop car. Used to be, used. Oh wait, his voice. Yeah, have to remember it. Used to be, used to be. We brought fear and all the, the streets when we rode. Now though, yeah. But it's still orange. Does that mean I could still click on it? Nope. Same thing. All right, cool. Condom. I don't know how much how relevant is the condom, but. A condom. Used. Yep, I guess it's not relevant at all. I don't think that's relevant to the case. Yep. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe the... The... The shot... The attacker may have... I mean the assailant. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. May have been gay and decided to... Gay rape this poor soul. Well, it could be a woman as well. Yeah, it could be a woman and she decided to... And she could be a necrophilia and then she decides to... Okay, what am I thinking, D-Mine? Jesus, alright, don't... Let's just forget that ever happened. Shoe prints. The rain has done a number on them. That's it? That's all you're gonna comment on them? Uh... Yeah, you're not even gonna comment on them anymore. I'm clicking it. Yep, you're not gonna comment on them. So, that's it. Oh wait, the lake. Yeah, I could check the leg. That broken wrist. Gunshot residue on the right hand. Yep, that's it. Dog bites. Yeah. Oh yeah, I already seen all this. Footprints. Yeah, I see my footprints. What about these footprints? I took some photographs, but with all this rain, I doubt they'll give us anything definitive. Just great. How are you doing, by the way? Not bad. That's good to hear. Oh wait, now, now that I think about it, the womb, if the womb couldn't have used the con, it couldn't be a woman that used condom on the man to, and then, did it with his dead body, because, he needs, he needs blood to circulate for him to have a boner, what? Ah, uh, why am I still on that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, alright. That's good to hear. Alright, D, D might get, get your, get your mind off of necrophilia, alright? Just get your mind off of it. Good to hear indeed. Alright, so let's leave the crime scene, wait, yeah, let's leave the crime scene, let's talk to Tyrone, oh, he's greyed out, so I think that's everything we could have done, and you walk so slow, could you walk any faster, man? I got the preliminary here, Rich, you want to look around some more, or start figuring things out? Um, give me a sec, not done, not done quite yet, let me know when you're ready. Is that anything I could do out, back out? Can you hurry up? Oh god. Um. Oh, I could see this steam pipe. One of the series steam vents. Reminds me there's always something boiling away beneath the streets. Alright. Can you walk any slower, man? Hmm. Alright, so you hate me? Alright, I think that's it. Alright, so nothing else to do. Okay, let's finish up and leave this crime scene. Come on, Tyrone. We've got a case on our hands. Yep, ready. What did our pals in blue manage to piece manage to piece together? Based on this, we're looking at a deal gone bad. Yeah. Yeah? How do you how do they figure? Well let's lay it out step by step. Oh sure, we're gonna do the whole process. I can already guess as much, but Right. So Arcany comes over here to do some kind of deal. I I think he's the one having the drugs, right? Arcan that was Arcany's case. A little af- a little after hours business as it were. Sure looks like it. But why they left the drugs? Wouldn't they taken it? Sure looks like it. Uniforms have it as a meet between Arcany and another boss. How do you know it's another boss? Not just someone else, alright. And probably a couple of gangsters as well. Could be. Hard to tell which footprints are fresh though. Rain's made a real mess of things. Um, yeah. Could have been just two guys for all we know. I suppose. Anyway, looks like things went sour in one way or another. 
Akni ended up with a bullet tree skull. Yeah, but I only saw two shells by the body. By the body, and if I had to guess, they were both from his gun. Two shots is pretty restrained for a bunch of hoods, though. Especially if Alcony got off the first round. Oh, but I thought the wound entered his head. And he can't have been here by himself, right? Since we don't have any more bodies here, I figured they must have run off after Alcony got killed. So he was either alone or may have someone but they ran off. Right. The uniforms think he was overpowered by multiple perks. Wait. Oh, I see. By multiple perks, alright. And shot in the back of the head. Well, one guy could pull that off if he was real good. Been watching Death Forget. Been watching Death Wish again, Reggie. Don't knock the class, yes. Wait, don't knock the class. Don't knock the class. Thank you. Anyway, if Arcane was alone, he pulls his piece and squeezes off around. But this guy is already going for his wrist. All right. Follow his up. Follows it up with a solid blow to Alkany's elbow joint, for good measure. Alright. Right, and the kneecap is the finisher. Nobody fights back with one of those busted, I don't care who you are. So that's when he takes the gun, plants it against the back of Alkany's head. And boom, pop goes the wheeze. Yeah, saw some shit like that in the army. These big cops. Don't have your imagination, right? Wait, oh, that's it. Yeah, some shit like that in the army. These big cops don't have your imagination, Wretch. See, this bash. Oh, t oh, I thought TY is short form for thank you. Well, it kind of is, but now I realize it's, sh it's short form for Tyrone. Well, alright. See, this bash, TY, it's my license to have an imagination. Really? They have a badge for that? But if Banger is down our, down our cane, why did they leave the case with the goods behind? Yes, exactly what I was saying. Good question. I figure Alcony, Alcony managed to get a shot at their boss. Guy is bleeding out in the mud during the fight. But then wouldn't we have a blood trail or something? Like left from the bleeding boss? And the Bangers panic and haul him off to be patched up. Who, is the who has the imagination now? But yeah, I guess I can see that. No way to tell if there was anyone bleeding out there though, I guess. Yeah, cause the rain and mud. Yeah, with all the oil and shit on the ground, there's no amount of luminol that would solve this one. A poor would have just left this kiss behind. Of course. And dump the gun. Wait. And dump the gun. Yeah, don't want to be dragging evidence around. Arcane and drugs though. The north, the north side to teen run most of that shit around here. Maybe the Kuchkas were expanding a bit. Someone didn't like it and they, and they sent a special message. I do not know who any of these people are or groups are. You may be right. What do you want to go... Wait, what do you want to go with then? Oh, multiple attackers. Solo job? Can't see it. It's too early to say to UI. This, the scene is a mess and we still need to get the results back from the lab. Yeah, we're not going to figure this out standing here in the rain. Look, I know a guy you used to run with Arcanist group back in the day. He was always solid for intel, but he's been out of the game for a while now. Hmm, is this by any chance the same informant that Nadia, that Nadia mentioned? Huh? What did she say? Don't tell me she was actually onto something. She didn't say much really, just ask about some deal you made. It's nothing, I don't want to get in, into it right now. Fine, but who is this guy anyway? Joe made a middleweight mover making deals all over. Even tried to bust the guy a couple of times, but he always gave me the slip. So how did you manage to turn rat? He wanted out, so he cut the deal to make to take down his former comrades, wipe clean his debt to society, sort of thing. He wanted he wanted out, so he cut the deal to take to take oh yeah, same thing. Sounds smart. Why? Yeah, why? Why did he want to... Why did he want out of selling? Yeah. He found the American dream, a wife, a kid, and an honest job. I'll give this guy a call, he might still have contacts. Hey Joe, it's been a while. I know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. I know why I promised. 
but I need your help. Oh uh, wait. Joe, listen to me. Alkani's dead. What do you mean? Wait. Look, that is, that is not an option. Joe, do I need to remind you of our deal? What are you gonna say next? Pretty please? Just give me the fucking phone already. Alright, I thought he could have talked it. Look, dip shit. I'm having a bad day already and you're really starting to push it. Hmm. Who the hell is this? Your new best friend. The one you are going to please with everything you've got. Or else? How's the missus? Is the spark still there? Or should I come over there and ask that myself? Just tell me what you want, okay? Mutual benefit. So you are really out? Yeah, been clean for a long time and working a steady 9 to 5 job right now. Well, ain't you a real boy scout? Someone blew out his brains out. No surprise there. Nope, that motherfucker's finally got what he deserves. Too bad his fellow comrades are going apeshit here. Forget it, I can't help you. And then there's that reporter here too, Nigel Roberts. She's asking about a deal that you made with my partner Tyrell. What? How does she know about that? Don't know. You get me something, and I'll deal with the reporter. Deal? I only an hour. Fine, meet me at the old market by docks. I see. All good? Good enough. You ready to hit the bricks then? Yes. Oh wait, no wait, we have to talk- No! We have to talk to Nadia! I forgot to do that. Or maybe we can do it some other time. I think we're supposed to have... Uh, talk to Nadia, right? Or maybe not yet. He has to do it first, then we talk to Nadia. Yeah, we could always talk to Nadia some other time, right? This is then the only time we'll meet her, I bet. Here, sure, statue, Joseph Miller. Let's look at the statue. Oh! Yep, Hulk basically shows him thing. Wait, why won't you stay? Eh. No, it won't stay. Alright, never mind. If you build it, they'll come they'll come deface it. Alright. Joe's car. At least the guy likes proper cars. A muscle? Eh. Yeah, I like muscles. Joseph Joe Miller. He's turned his life around. But I bet he still knows his way around some of those circles. Board updated, new character. Alright, so let's talk to him. Eh. Okay, Joseph Miller. So, you must be Joseph Miller. You know, Tywin is real hush hush about you. Yeah, we had this agreement about me not having to come to meetings like this. Forget the agreement. This is you and me here. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. I uh, don't sing that song. Why? Why is, why is this a date? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing it. I know a reporter that would love to have a date with you. Just tell me what you want. Oh, okay. So we're supposed to. Top down, no reporter. Quit pro quo. I do not know what that means. I don't want talking down, no reporter. You know, I'd be less worried about me and more worried about that reporter, Roberts. What does she know? Some mentioned something about you and Tyro and something about a certain deal. Anything any specifics? No, but she's like a dog with a bone when she smells scoop. You help me on this though and I can help handle it for you. Okay, sure, I supposed to handle it later. Alright. Deal, but one thing. I want you to leave my family out of this. Find Find out if someone's in Ar if someone in Arcanist organization got tired of shit rolling downhill and decide to step up. To step up by selling him up. I start with whoever is in charge now. That would be my first guess. Yeah, I guess. I'm sure he has some authority issues. That's where you come in. I got an achievement. Don't tell the wife. I, I mean, I don't want to involve his wife. Why should I? Leave the man's family out of this, you know? It's only it's between him and just him. Not the, his family. His family got nothing to do with it. Find out what's going on and I'll take care of the reporter. And let me guess, now that I made a deal with him, maybe Nadia will find out and then she'll be like, Oh, so you in on this too and whatnot? I guess I'm on my own now. Wait, I play as... Oh. Oh. I'm... I'm Joe now. 
One guy, two fishes. Yeah, that about sums it up. Oh, I'm this guy now. Alright, my car. Detroit Steel at its finest. Alright, eh, in my car. Not sure how I like, I like this guy. Well, I can't see for sure yet. Balcony home. Let's look up the balcony. Ah. I really needed some fresh air. Well, at least. Alright, the city. The city looks so different from up here. Down the streets, the, the alleyways. You get a whole new perspective on things. Alright. So that's the balcony. Nothing else to do. You know, I think I turned off the disabled tutorial, but... I don't think I ever got a tutorial. Well, I don't think I'll need it. Maybe I actually- maybe that was turned on the, the tutorial. I don't know. It says disabled tutorial. I don't know. Alright. Oh, nice place got there. Upstairs. Aquarium. Evelyn wanted an aquarium. I never understood the front of it. The point of it. It looks pretty cool though. Alright. So, this is south. Pretty nice place. And I guess Evelyn is his wife. That week in Hawaii was definitely worth the money. Alright. Wall clock. It's past midnight already. If that modern up my trust still actually works. Alright. Upstairs, upstairs, or upstairs. Well, you give me three options to go upstairs. Oh wait, no, no, no. We got Nadia. No, not Nadia. Evelyn over there. Um, alright, let's look at her. She was standing just a while ago. She was in... And she looks weird in this, in this side. Evelyn, the E for my... To my Adam. The mother of my child. She has stood by me and believed in me, even when I didn't deserve it. Which just makes it all the harder to disappoint her again. Look at this. She looks kind of weird. Alright, never mind. Alright, let's talk to her. Eh. 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 Alright. Hi, hon. Oh, hi. When do you sneak in? You won't believe the day I've had. Curious. Oh yeah? How so? I had a nightmare of a client. None of my plans sat, sat well with him. This sofa. Does it have to be so... so modern? Oh, you're, interior, you're an interior decorator or something? These curtains. I, I think I liked them more when they weren't so... green. Jesus, why even hire a professional if you're not going to let them change the thing? Sounds like a drag. Wait. Ah, I keep looking up this one. Sounds like a drag. What have you been up to anyway? I had to fill in for, for you reading Sophia's bedtime story. Bad news, understood. Alright, if I say nothing, she'll know, it should be like, don't, you don't keep secrets from me. If I say bad news, I don't know, I should understate it. Oh, just had to attend this late meeting. They got you working this late? What was it all about? You know, just stuff. Daddy. Oh, hey kiddo. Did I wake you up? No, I can't sleep. Daddy, can you come and tuck me in, please? I don't think you have a choice. Heh, <laughs> I guess you're right. Well, I keep going back to his voice, still. I I got stuck. How are you able to talk to me from up there? Oh well. Sure thing, I'll be right up. Alright, let's get to her. Upstairs. Alright, the bedroom. Let's look at the bed. Sophia insisted on her bed being right next to our bed. Oh. I see. Even though she has a room over there, I think. I don't know. Sophia. She wasn't sitting on the chair on the staircase, and I believe I should be a dad one day or have a kid as great as Sophia. She mostly takes after her mother. Thank God. But when she gets up to a little mischief, that's where I know she's my girl too. I have this inkling feeling something is gonna happen to your daughter. She might be kidnapped or something. And then you're gonna be like that guy from Taken. I don't know who you are, but I'll find you. And I'll kill you. Yeah. But you're not just as badass as that guy. Eh. 
Alright. I'm not sure that can work that properly, actually. So it's a bit of a, of a problem, but nah, it works. Scoot over, won't you? So you can't speak, you say? Why's that? I was afraid you wouldn't come home. What? Why? Wait, wait what? why would you be... Would you be afraid of that? I don't know. I thought that maybe you could be hurt. Honey, I'm stuck behind the desk at the cat company. It's not exactly the most dangerous job in the world, is it? I guess not, but bad men could hurt you. Not a chance, don't worry. Don't worry kind of like makes you feel like it's possible, not a chance. Not, yeah, not a chance. But that would be a lie as well, because especially now what you're getting yourself into. But I'll just go not a chance. Hurt me? Impossible. Your daddy's a pretty tough guy, you know? You are? <laughs> like, you are? I don't think you are. You, 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 you're pathetic, Dad. <laughs> sure am. You just worry about your own behind, alright? Now be a good girl and crawl back to bed. We'll talk more tomorrow. Will you read me a bedtime story? Mommy told me she already read you one. No double dipping, sweetheart. Aww. Okay, okay, just this one. So which one should I read? I want a new one. Make one up. Oh boy. Okay, so let's see. Once upon a time, there was... A wizard. And he had... A car! <laughs> Alright. A car, a horse, or a castle. Alright, I have... A few options. A horse is just boring, so we don't... A horse is like, normal. A castle make it sound a bit more interesting. A car... It's just like, just go... Oh, go funny with it. I think I wanna try that. A car. The fastest car in all the land. <laughs> That we just don't have cars. <laughs> oh, hmm. Well, okay, he had. <laughs> All right, fine. A castle, a big dark castle. Was he a bad wizard? No. Nah, he wasn't a bad guy, but he wasn't really good at decorating. You know, so the castle was really dark and blue. Is this gonna be one of those scary stories again, Daddy? No. I mean, it wasn't like a really scary castle. It just needed like. Lights and uh, pillows and drapes and stuff. Oh, okay. So he was in the forest trying to figure out what to do when he met... A fairy, a painter, or a contractor. A fairy. A fairy who agreed to help the wizard and used her magic to make the castle all cool and colorful. Like a candy castle. And the wizard was all happy and got a lot of new friends that he had, that he had a party with. The end. What? Really? I wanted to go... That is too fast. Yay! And now it's time for you to get some rest. It's late. I thought it would have go on like... The fairy... I don't know, was in distress or something. And then he, he went... He set off on the... I guess it will be too long then. And it's not important to the story. It would be a bit irrelevant. <laughs> yep. Okay, daddy. Good night. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Alright. The bedroom? Uh, no. I guess we have to go down to our... To the Mythis. Oh, sitting down there. Huh? Alright. He's still in that position. Weird. Eh. Alright. Everything good up there? Of course. There. There room for one more? Sure. Uh, I really needed this. Peace and quiet. Hot chocolate and... A bad reality show. Exactly. So what was that meeting all about? They finally give you the re that race? I wish. Dream on. But can we not talk about work? Right now, I just want to enjoy them with this moment. What well, last? Liar, liar, achievement. Come on, we can't tell. This, this is kind of like, this is one, like those typical action movie where the distressed guy with a family have to lie to their family, like, we can't tell them these things, or not, they'll, they'll be worried, and at worst they might even get involved. And then that's where the mistake comes in, where, cause they'll find out you're lying and whatnot, and then you'll be like, oh no, fine, I'll tell you everything, and then it's still the guy's fault. It's like nothing you do is right. What you want me to do? Oh uh, yeah, well I guess that, I guess that option was the best way to lie, if we said nothing, she'll be like, something happened. But if we go like meeting, then she'll be like, oh. So we actually successfully lied to our family. I wonder if this 
how many multiple choices like branching path this game has. Because from what I've seen, there are quite a lot of choices. I wonder how many of them were they just lead back up to the same thing or do they really branch off or have this certain consequences? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, Tyrone. Jesus, Reggie, you can't get any you get any sleep? You look even worse than usual. Always with the compliment with the compliments. Gonna be a lot of long nights before this investigation is over. Come keep working the late shift. Never like the sun much anyway. Speak for yourself. Each to their own, I suppose. Let's get inside. I need I need to talk to Mike and, and the LT, Lieutenant. Right, I'll see you upstairs. Gonna finish this smoke first. Why, no smoke in the office? Man, those things will kill ya. No, no faster than hanging out with you will, should sunshine. Eh, uh, whatever floats your boat, man. Newspaper. Alright. Eh. Uh, miscarriage? Oh, it is the same thing. Alright. Alright. So let's see the statue there. They say they say that justice is blind. But I figure she should have her, her ears checked as well. Oh he's saying she's deaf as well. Alright, visitors. A grim bunch. Parking tickets to be paid, muggings to be reported, maybe a dead loved one to be identified. Huh. The shield. I didn't read it. I'm not going anywhere until I see some kind of justice around here. Seeing that shield used to make me feel proud. That's fine. Well, I can't, I'm not gonna read her. Seeing that shield used to make me feel proud. Okay. Sure, you could call the button or take the stairs. Let's call the button. I'll get take the stairs. Fine, we'll call the button. The morgue, the lobby. Let's go to the morgue. Alright. Uh, that's the body. Kind of a. That ain't pretty. But it's where we're all headed. Hope it won't be that messy though. Okay. There is cold storage. The final capsule hotel. Centrally located with the best aircon in town. Mike Graves. Ah, good. Was wondering when you dropped by. You said you have the forensics report ready. Yeah, although I don't know how much I can tell you that you don't already know. The gun. What do you have on the gun? The bullet casings we found at the scene match the gun. The gun was also confirmed to be the murder weapon. No other weapons or ballistic evidence was uncovered after a thorough search. Alright. Right, thanks. There were only two shots fired, the second being the killing shot. I see. I wasn't able to recover that serial number on the gun. It was fouled off thoroughly. Clearly a black market weapon. Chasing it is chasing it is going to be a problem, but probably a goose chase anyway. Right. Yeah. It's probably a bit unrelated. The body. What have you got on Arcane? Not much to say, sadly. The blows to his head, to his arm and knee were cynic were clinical. Evidently from a trained attacker. Uh, very efficient. Brutal strikes, it would seem, and powerful too. Ex-military maybe? And they should have a weapon to do that. Oh, uh, yeah. To break the bones of his knee? Yeah. I mean not knee and ankle? Yeah. I wanna rule out the possibility. More than likely even. The drugs? What about the drugs? Definitely came from the Northside 13 gang, without doubt. How can you be so sure? Well, do you want the long or the short answer? Long. Go on then, give me the details. The details! Get yeah, see. Uh, Alright. Okay. The coke has been laced with lidocaine as a cutting agent, which is not altogether uncommon. However, the trace elements in the chemical composition suggest a brand of lidocaine that is only available in Mexico, something called silocaine. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm pretending like I know this. Well, actually I kind of get it, but... That's not the science part of it. We also took a few 
pollen samples from the bats definitely came from Colombia through Mexico to the US. We are still looking at the most recent deposits against local flora. Probably have that to wait, probably have that to you later. How specific can you get with your placement? Pretty close. Might be able to tell which end of town it was back depending on the samples. Let me know what you find. Prince. Those footprints you run at the scene. Yeah, no help there unfortunately. They belong to the owner of the dog with an appetite for human flesh. Damn, that would have been too easy. Done. Thank you, Mike. No problem. There should be there should be a copy of the report at your desk. Alright, I'll have a look what I paid the dog. The top dog visit. See you around. Later. Alright. Oh wait, there's something else here. Bone saw. Just looking at that just makes my leg ache. Eh. Uh, I guess. Alright. But I think this is a good place to end it here. So, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter at BeMindGaming if you have enjoyed. And I hope to see you again in the next episode.